Hey what is going on guys this is Wicked Android HD and today I'm going to be showing you Aurora ROM Yep that's pretty strange but this is a Galaxy S6 full port so as you may already noticed SMG 920p this is the Galaxy S6 5.0.2 variant lollipop and it is Aurora ROM you can tell that by uh, noticing this, uh, these uh, Chinese apps which by the way you can uninstall quickly um, either way you will what you will find some uh, things that are not already translated into English like the clock not like the clock like the date and let's just uninstall all this shit here just disable because we're not gonna need these these were just for you guys to know that I'm running Aurora ROM so it is fully ported LB95 said that he will uh, update this port into his ROM and he will release a 4.0 S6 port which is gonna be cool I'm looking forward into this project because I need to switch to Lollipop um, KitKat is getting sluggish okay enough with these boring stuff as voice we're never gonna use this shit because we have Google now of course okay so this is a full uh, full S6 port which means all the apps and the system user interface has been ported have been ported to the this uh, Galaxy S4 let's make a phone call this is how it looks like let's see when you will you receive a message how it looks like from time to time come on okay this is how you unlock your device beautiful unlocking effects let's get through all of them so we're gonna get into luxury and security I think unlocking effect yeah popping colors stone skipping seasonal this is cool because depending on uh, what season are you in your country for example if it's winter but right now it's almost autumn in uh, in Romania it doesn't work why it's summer for example let's set up like this okay so it doesn't work it seems to be a bug to me or I just have to press something else no I don't think so this works by the way charging effect let's see if this works let me get my charging cable which is very long by the way okay nope seasonal effects don't work as they should be being a port isn't that special because you'll find bugs like this which will annoy you, annoy you. Um, this isn't stable for daily usage because uh, there are users on XDA who said that uh, they had some problems using Bluetooth or making phone calls or even uh, trying to get a GPS lock fix. Uh, instead of that, this maybe the beginning of a uh, really stable project 
because you can open them in multi window as you may see so multi window is working we have here toggles flashlight is working floating messages on they're on the camera is the default Galaxy S4 camera so this is has been not ported hasn't been ported the music app is the Galaxy S6 one calculator the same so in terms of performance as you may see it's the beginning of something because it's partly smooth since it's uh, since the, the entire system UI has been ported from the Galaxy S6 but the main huge problem is that it's still based on 5.0.2 I'm expecting to get a port from 5.1.1 since it, since it was released on uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 uh, let's check out the wallpapers oh there was some lag there this is a lag that must be fixed um, I don't know how to split screen okay this is really interesting this is how you enter, you enter split screen really cool yep and I love it <laughs> really nice to have a port like this yep themes are also working on this ROM which is amazing I have to say so I have set up my this one this is space this was the default one this is how it looks like this is way better because it has it gives you a more darker background yep briefing overall besides those bugs that I have mentioned before yep this is kind of pretty functional have to show you the yep slightly graphic little graphical bug here this text this text uh, should have been white but not such a big deal this is the power menu let's get back to the default one um, what what else tools so yeah that's pretty much it let's get into clock I like these animations, believe me, these are really cool animations, for example if I set up and then it will get out like this, yeah pretty nice. Battery, beautiful beautiful new user interface in terms of battery usage, power saving mode and ultra power saving mode, let's see if it is working. I agree. Yep, it is working. 20 hours remaining. This seems to be pretty f a pretty fair estimated usage time. Turn off. How do we turn? Okay, like that. We can't get out of these. Configuring device. Please wait. Configuring device. Please wait. Seventy-six of one hundred. Seems to be. Come on. It has to configure the system. Well, it 
So yeah, most of the functions are working, most of the features are working. Floating messages, what else do we have here? Screen mirroring, mirroring, uh, power saving, we've been through that. Do not disturb mode. Yep, also working. The Wi-Fi icons have been modified, as far as I'm concerned. As well as the... nope. No, I don't think the mobile data icons have been changed. That, this is the Aurora S6 port, guys. I hope you like it. If you did, please thumbs up. Beautiful off-screen. Screen off animation. I like that sound. Um, if you like, please thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. I'll pull link in the description in all the files you'll need. This is a full S6 port. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Wicked Android is out. Bye bye.